I um, like I said, I totally one hundred percent agree with you too on that one. Um, all right, so there was a story. Whether or not it is accurate or not, but apparently some gentleman from Haiti, his name was Jean. Jean? I assume it's Jean. Jean? If he if his name is Jean, sorry. But anyway, he basically <clears throat> came through the uh I guess the uh checkpoint down at Del Rio in you know, from this camp and everything, and he had his, I assume, pregnant wife with him, and possibly a three-year-old daughter. And um, basically, he, he got given a bus ticket. For what? I don't know. Just go somewhere else, apparently. Somewhere further north. <laughs> so, what, what are your opinions, realistically, on this particular practice? And whether or not, um, as soon as they, you know, get into the country, whether or not you just don't hear anything about these people ever again. I know, it's a tough one, right? I mean, I, I could see how, uh, I, I don't know, this might be like a, a stretch, but if, if you wanted to hurt the country, if you wanted to hurt the United States of America, and you send a giant surges of migrants to the country, to the border, and, uh, and had us try to take care of people, that stresses our supply chain, that stresses our resources, and that hurts the country. Do you think that could not also come back to, you know, uh, jobs and economic stuff as well? Absolutely. Good point. I'm looking at it from a different perspective. What is their background? Do we do background checks on these people? Well, obviously, if you walk across the thing and... You yeah, know, they see a kid and they just hand you a bus ticket. I highly doubt any sort yeah. of background shot got, got. What exactly did you do in Haiti and South America? We, we, we never know. Yeah, that's true. You never know. Man. Yeah. This is, this, is, this is a tough one. But, you know, um, okay. Going back to the impact on the economy and everything, um, let's... Let's just say that the numbers that I have heard are accurate, where there were 30,000 people in this camp, right? And 17,000 of them were, I don't, I don't necessarily want to say granted asylum, but 17,000 of them were allowed to proceed into the United States. What do you think that um, that will do to the in particular, the job market, and on top of that, the job market of jobs that no one really wants to do. The, the, the argument that those are jobs that nobody wants to do is the dumbest fucking argument I've ever heard in my entire fucking life. Because I will do any job that you pay me the correct amount for. And the fact that you have migrants coming across the border and they're willing to do the jobs for next to nothing is the reason why they're not paying me to do, in a correct fashion, to do those jobs. Okay, so you're basically saying that if there wasn't, you know, uh, at this point, I, I got, you know, classify them as illegal immigrants willing to do those jobs for pennies on the dollar? They'll do they any job for to, any, any amount. That they would they, have to be paid, you know, if it was a normal American citizen, they would have to be paid way more than they are being paid. You're, you're paying somebody just chump change, like just money out of your pocket to do a job that you would have to pay somebody $15, $20 an hour for, to do. That's exactly what I'm saying. See, I disagree with both of you. We have the great resignation right now where people are just giving up their jobs. Most Americans are not going to work on a fucking farm field. They, they would if they were getting paid the right amount. But they're not going to. It's kind of like outsourcing with corporate <coughs> corporations. They're going to go over to Indonesia... Anything where it's a third world country, build their companies there and pay them pennies on the dollar, like Nike. And, and that's that's why we should we should charge, we should charge. Uh, I can't uh, not tax. It's well, it's taxing stuff that comes in. What is what is uh, import tax? It, like an import tax. That's why we should be charging an Im, uh, import tax or a tariff on on goods and products that are coming into the country, so that the American companies 
either find make it a loss. It, it should it should cost way more to transfer transport a good two hundred miles to the American border. Right, but it doesn't than, exactly, and it doesn't, and that's a problem because basically we're just using low wage. Basically, very close to slave labor so you to create agree with all me, the right? products. I agree. I agree with you. Uh, as, as long as you're agreeing that we should extremely tax any product coming well, in the United yeah, States to so make it not a any kind of import, right? Any so. import coming in the United States. Uh, um, but we're not kind of on the same scale as you know other countries tax our exports. Right. Right. But that's, that's not happening right, right now. That's it's something, something that, that we our could previous have. administration was trying to address and. Was in yeah. Yeah. right, Trump. <clears throat> but but just because orange man bad, we have to get rid of all the all the the things that were were help were uh, were helping the country. But also people, the corporate the corporate politicians. I don't want to call them Democrats, although many of them are corporate corruptible politicians. They want these this cheap labor, cheap products that the corporations uh, are paying them. To uh, to support, um, and then bring it into the country so they can make a lot of money while, right. while the wa wages that, right. and yeah. money and jobs uh, that normal Americans would do here in the country are making nothing. Well, let's go back to the jobs here. Like I said, with the Great Resignation, there's still plenty of jobs. Like I've seen that people that are employed at the Burger King completely all quit one Burger King restaurant. Yeah, I heard about that. So there's plenty of jobs for Americans to do. I think they're just right, but they don't want to do them. That's the problem. Right. Okay, and also on top of that, they don't don't necessarily want to do them because they think you know at this point in time that they can make more money you know off of unemployment, right, and everything, and have more of those social economic benefits from like you know whatever like the state assistance, health insurance, and all that bullshit that you don't have to pay for if you're on... We're all paying uh, for it. Right. We are because we're actually working. But, I mean, you understand what I'm saying. Uh, they... They're playing the system. They're playing the system. Yeah. that uh, That's basically what it boils down so, to. But also, at the, the system, same point in time, hear me out, they lost the federal part of the unemployment. So they're not making more money than they would have been making if they were working a regular job. Right. So I think we will see a swing at some point in time shortly in that particular We've seen you know, an influx in wages though at this point in time. Yeah, I mean because yeah, I mean you know, in order for businesses to stay, you know, open and everything, right. they need employees. Right. They're even given like benefits, four oh one K Remember, I think we talked about this. Yeah, I, th I think I think I heard about like McDonald's even offer like a thousand or fifteen hundred dollar yeah. signing bonus just to. Royal Farms was offering like twenty one dollars an hour. Amazon was offering a sign on bonus. Yeah. Stuff like that, man. I, I mean, mean it's, personally, I think it's I crazy. think all those things are good things, and then there's going to reach a point where they're often offering the the right amount for people to come back to work and feel like they're making enough to live on that people are going to start working. Right, it, but it's, at the it, same time, you have the refugees coming in, and if they're giving right. them the work visas and letting them come in, they're going to take a lot of those jobs before these people Some think exactly, about right. going back to work. So, and then what's but I mean, realistically, that, that, that makes the, realistically, makes the way just stagnate. Yeah. To realistically, at some point in time, time at some point in time, it's going to balance out. Or you're going to just keep store. importing workers. Uh, okay, so uh, what are we gonna just gonna go steal like twenty thousand yeah, people from Mexico every fucking time? We don't. I mean, we, don't, I mean, we, don't have to the steal them. we don't have to steal them. They'll walk right up to the border themselves. They cross the river. But are they willing to work? <laughs> you know what I mean? And then they get not they all of them. Did you really just say that? <laughs> no, they're not all willing to work. Not every. Me that's very racist to say that every Mexican coming in the border is willing to work hard. I've met plenty of Mexicans that are lazy as fuck. Anyway, just saying.